sweet things. How are you going? Thought you were gonna get a video without my silly blethering. I think not. <laughs> Welcome to our picnic. I have set out a lovely blanket for you. Well, currently setting out a blanket for you on a beautiful field with far off hills and fields and trees. Welcome to a new video. My name is Sophie. If you're new here, I'm an artist and I'm based in Melbourne, Australia. I love colour, I love playing, I love rhythm and flow and scribbling and just having fun with my work. And if you are regular, hi. <laughs> so good to see you again. Hope you enjoy this video. Now, let me just talk about this painting for a little bit. I kind of went into this without much of a plan. I mean, that's just how I like to do things. <laughs> <laughs> I like to keep myself on my toes, but I did know that I wanted to do something with a quilt. Over the last few years, I've been I've been really riding this quilt patchwork kind of yeah patchworky stitchiness of things going togetherness, um, and I've had so much fun. And it's a it's an element that I really love bringing to my paintings and to my sketchbook. My sketchbook is filled with little quilt like motifs I guess and I was thinking why do I like this so much one is that growing up my mum always made quilts my aunties and my granny always made quilts they're just a big quilty family and I didn't make quilts but I got to enjoy the quilt making process and watching and I just used to love sitting with my mum while she was sewing at the sewing machine making these quilts with my sketchbook open and drawing and painting alongside her. I think the quilt making element of my childhood was a really cozy comfy one and yeah it just you know being wrapped up in a handmade quilt something so huge that has been made with love and so many hours put behind it just feels really beautiful and cozy and comforting and like home i feel like as an adult no longer a child and lucky for me i had quite a good childhood I had a very good childhood. Quilts just make me feel like I'm a kid again, like I have that childhood comfort of being at home, which is really lovely. And as an adult and renting and never really having a place that I feel super settled in the way I did when I was a kid makes me crave that comfort, that being wrapped up in a quilt made by my mum for me. Yeah. Maybe that's a part of why I really like the way quilts look, why I really like drawing them in my sketchbook and in paintings and that sort of thing. I also just love the history of quilts. I love how far back handmade home items like this go, like forever. People were making quilts <laughs> and blankets and whatnot forever. I really love that and I'm I'm always someone who loves the simple things in life. I love homemade, handmade things. I love sitting outside. I love examining grass and bugs and the fur around my dog's nose. It feels like that. That's what quilts feel like. That's what this piece is about. This that's what this painting is about. The clay board that I started with, you you can see that it's already been painted on. I used this as a palette for my last painting that I did. Um, so I used it to mix colors and uh, put my paint on. And I love doing that now. This is like a new thing that I love doing. Well, it's not that new. I've been doing it in my sketchbook for the last year or two, but actually using a canvas slash clayboard for my palette has been fairly new and it's been really wonderful. I love the textures that come through. I love the colors that come through and all this unexpected stuff that happens is really exciting and I have a lot of fun figuring out how to work around them, how to work against them, how to work with them, the colors that is and the textures. And it has made me feel a little more loosened up 
with my paintings. Uh, a lot of my paintings, my larger paintings to be precise, have been quite um, like careful, like my line work has been really careful, my edges were really careful, my painting was really careful. And yeah, I just feel like I wanted to be less careful. This painting, you can see that the colours aren't filled in completely flat. You can see a lot of texture. There are some with colour shining from underneath, from the palette, shining through up into the top layer. Um, and I love that I kept it, I embraced it. It really helped me to just like loosen up just that little extra bit that I've been wanting to do and there's always room to loosen up more of course but for this one it was just like a little step forward for me which was really nice and I'm really proud of myself and I had a lot of fun doing it. I just had my headphones in, I was listening to a podcast. It was a beautiful day. I think I painted, yeah I painted this in uh, one sitting and I probably forgot to eat lunch and I probably drank a lot of tea. <laughs> <laughs> and I did this on a Saturday morning, uh, uh, during a Saturday, and there's no better way to spend a Saturday than painting and drinking tea. <laughs> A lot of people ask me how I come up with the colors that I use, how I come up with color combinations, how do I know what to do and I don't know that my answer is honestly I don't know. I think a lot of it comes down to intuition and my intuition is strong only because I've spent years practicing and years trying stuff and years failing and trying again and failing and trying again and trying something new and trying something weird and eventually I just figured out what I like what I think works and and maybe I, I just naturally get it a little bit I don't know I have no seriously guys I have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to colors I might go into a painting and go I really want to work with a lot of pastel violets and purples and let's see what colors go around them at the moment I am really obsessed with this like olivey mustardy color and I love it so much it is my everything so I, I use that a lot in this quilt I actually went into this painting with that color being my number one color in the Holbein acrylic gouache uh, paint tube it's the olive one it's my favorite and when you water it down a lot it gets really yellowy it's gorgeous and when and when you just use it thick as is it, it's really rich dark olive it's my favorite color <laughs> at the moment and it pairs really beautifully with the violet and creams and pinks and then like orange as well mm. I just used all my favorite colors at the moment on this painting <laughs> all the colors <laughs> Anyway, sit back, enjoy, listen to some groovy music and I'll come back to say hi in a minute.
We're creeping up to the end of the video now and I just want to pop in and say hello again. Also, this piece I have turned into a print which you can purchase from my shop. It comes in three different sizes, a five, a four and a three size. And I print them myself on beautiful archival quality paper using beautiful archival quality inks and they're printed with love yeah and they're also going to be this month february this month's patreon reward reward <laughs> so with with the patreon reward you get a double-sided mini print so on one side you'll have this artwork and on the other side are some sketchbook workings out um, and ideas based around this piece which i love i love the sketchbook side of it and you also get a little vinyl sticker that matches. And I'm so excited to be able to send these around the world. And I'm going to definitely stick one of my vinyl stickers on my drink bottle. But yeah, you've got until the end of February to sign up and nab yourself a mini reward. The link for my Patreon is in the description below if you're keen. I would love to see you there and while we're talking about patreons i just want to spend a quick little secchi and send our love beam sunshine machines from my heart to my patrons i love you so much you are the batting in my quilt without you the quilt would not be squishy <laughs> so thank you so much i hope you love this painting i really enjoyed this painting it's one of my favorites so far um favorite painting of the year so far let me know what you think and what gives you those cozy childhood feelings i'd love to know um actually going to chile for a month during the month of march so i might not be able to post any videos during that month but i'll be active over instagram and over on patreon so see you there i hope uh love your faces and i'll talk to you next time all right bye